look who it is. Hello, Amy. Hi. How have you been? Good, how are you? Good, good. Everything's okay down there in Maryland? Um, for the most part, we're put into shelter now, but well, that, people aren't taking it seriously, so. <laughs> nobody can leave, right? Right, yeah. Essential, like if you have yeah. to Wow, wow, well, well, well. I see you've been training a lot. Trying to, yeah. This, this whole thing kind of threw me off a little bit, so I'm trying to get back into the swing of things again. Yep, good for you, good for you. Well, it's great to see you. We should have a whole bunch on today. I'm excited. Yeah, meditation and stretching. So it's kind of what I do with a little bonus at the end. So mm -hmm. we were doing 6 a.m., but uh, um, my staff said that a lot of the people are sleeping in because they don't have to get up for work. So I, my thought was let's get them still working early this way they don't lose that regime but yeah yep. they, they beat me so they did the schedule so they just tell me what to do <laughs> so, you, you're, like, you're just like I'm, i'll be there yeah yes as i get older i want less responsibility <laughs> <laughs> and jen is with us i don't, know. I don't see her yep. good morning good morning <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Bergman. Good morning, sir. Dude, stop. Stop it. Go. Sorry. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. Happy to see you. Hello, sir. Hello, Mr. Saper. How are you, sir? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday. All right. So we'll get going in a little bit. We'll allow some people to come on. We're still a little bit early. It's Great to see we have, you guys like seven o'clock better than six? Works yes, perfect, sir. yes sir. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, Mrs. LaDuca. Hello sir, how are you? Morning. Good morning. Should we mute ourselves, sir, or what was that? Should we mute ourselves? Not yet, not yet. Sometimes I don't like mute, but uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. But we'll, okay. we'll, 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 I'll let you know, or I could. Okay. If anybody has any background noise, they should definitely mute. Yeah, my background dogs. <clears throat> So stretching and meditation with dogs. We're going to have a special bring your dog to class training. <laughs> Downward dog. All right. I thought I saw my sister coming on. So my sister, uh, for all my students out there, has a gym in a fit body boot camp in St. Mary's County in Maryland. And uh, she invited a lot of her members. Oh, there she is. Good morning, everybody. That's my sister. Uh, she's from Maryland. And uh, so she just opened, well, just purchased a gym a couple of months ago. And of course, who would want to order, you know, purchase a gym right before a pandemic? <laughs> yes. She's been doing an incredible job, and I encouraged her. I recommend that she invites anybody to come for the meditation. I think, especially nowadays, uh, what's going on, I think everybody can use a little bit more meditation, a little bit more flexibility training. I'm sure the stress levels are up. 
So our necks are like this. So this is hopefully able to calm everybody down and relax. Very basic level, uh, but we're going to do about 20 minutes, uh, 20, 25 minutes of breathing properly. Um, and I know everybody's saying, well, I already know how to breathe, but That's all you got. abdominal breathing. I think that Karen made it loud today from that speaker. Oh, God. Yeah. We're going to do deep abdominal breathing um, and uh, different types of breathing. And then we're going to go into just a stretching regimen, pretty much going from our head uh, all the way down uh, to our feet, uh, emphasizing a lot of, on the neck to release the tension up here. So the idea of meditation and flexibility training, we're also going to do something called key energy exercises. Key energy exercises to allow your personal energy to flow freely and effortlessly. Um, you know, again, and a lot of it comes down to thought energy as well. So uh, just to know, when you breathe, proper breathing is what um, moves the energy through your body, through your system. And then it's relaxation is what allows that energy to flow freely. And that's why when you have a lot of tension and stress, it's very difficult to come up with solutions to challenges that's going on. For most people, I should say. But once you relax, it allows that thought energy to flow more freely and effortlessly. The other thing that meditation does is it slows down your brain waves eliminates what we call that monkey mind, where there's thoughts coming all over the place. Thoughts, 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 everything's going on, right? Like midday, you have so much stuff in your world, so many things to do, this, that, this. But by practicing meditation, it slows down the brain waves, deciphers through all of that mess, and then really comes up with some deep-seated, more meaningful, thought-provoking things a lot of people through meditation have like uh, realizations or epiphanies or life-changing just ideas um, because they're able to slow down and almost look at themselves and their situation in a third-person perspective. That's why meditation is so important. So especially now, nowadays, we always practice meditation. Any time is good, but the best time is as soon as you wake up in the morning and right before you go to sleep, because that's where your brain, when your brain, uh, that's when your subconscious mind is more susceptible to impact. But when, because uh, it's that like little spot between sleep and awake is like la la land, right? That's where things up from your subconscious are coming up and you're having these weird thoughts that you don't know where they're coming from, right? Before your conscious mind starts getting activated. So all that is for meditation purposes. Okay, I think, uh, anybody have any questions before we start? It's about 7.04, so we are gonna get started. Yeah. Good, okay, very good. What do you need for this training? Yourself, a pillow, something to sit down comfortably, and then obviously an open mind. First thing I'm gonna talk about is there's gonna be four levels of breathing, four different types. Breathing. I changed the address. There's going to be chest breathing, and the reason why we're going to start breathing from our chest, uh, when I see um, my experience, I should say, comes from my grandmaster, um, and I've been training with him in these practices for well over 20 years, and uh, so he just shares. My knowledge is deep, but not wide, so I just kind of take what he shares with me, and I share to my students. Um, but I went and saw him last November out in this place in California, and he really shared a lot of information about meditation and breathing. What he never told me until this time is that we start should start our meditation through our chest. Breathing through our chest, which is how 90% of society breathes anyway. Then we're going to go into breathing with our whole stomach. And then the third level of breathing is when we go down to below our belly button and only without moving our chest, without moving our stomach, 
only breathing with the very bottom part. Um, it's almost like there's a flat, very narrow, uh, there's a narrow breath, goes out and in without moving your upper body. That's a higher level of breathing. Um, that's the third level of breathing. Then you have a fourth and a fifth. I'm personally working on the fourth level. I'm not anywhere near the fifth level yet. But we're going to go through the first three levels today. All right. While we do it, we're going to put on, uh, we will close our eyes and sit down into um, this position. So how are we going to sit? A couple of different ways. This is very comfortable for me. If this is comfortable for you, I would urge you to do it. Also encourages flexibility in your hips. But I have one leg out that's in. The other leg comes on top and down. And you push your knees down. I guess they call this this half lotus position. This, if this is comfortable, put your, give yourself a pillow um, to elevate your hip just slightly. That will make it more comfortable for you. If you sit flat, there's a lot of pressure on that hip bone. It's more important that you're comfortable than anything else. If you're not comfortable, the energy is not going to flow because you're going to be tightening up. So if you have to bring your legs out, bring your legs out. If you just sit legs crossed, that's okay too. If you have to sit on a chair, that's okay too, right? So it's really up to you on how you go, how you go about it and what's most comfortable. Okay. So first thing we are going to do is we're going to do 10 deep breaths with our chest. So basically, um, sitting in this position, taking your uh, left hand. I don't. I think you see my right hand. You think it's my right, but take your left hand, place it on your lap. Take your right hand, place it on top, gently. Take your left thumb. I'm going to show you closer. Your left thumb is going to come in. Your right thumb is going to gently touch on, the, on your hands. This is going to be on your lap, right? Your back should be completely straight, completely straight, not slouched. We have chakras, right? Seven different energy points going down our system, right? From down here all the way up to the crown, you want to make them aligned, right? To connect to universal type energy. So from here, straight, left hand, right hand, left thumb, gently touching right thumb, okay? So first of all thing, we're gonna do it together. It's going to be a deep, big chest breath. Inhale through your nose, and exhale explosively out. This is to activate and open up our, our organs in our chest, all right? We're gonna do 10 of these breaths, we're going to close our eyes and do 10 breaths. So inhale, deep, chest. Exhale, explosive out, okay? Ready, 10 breaths. Begin. Fill up your lungs with oxygen. Deep breath as you can. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Explosive exhale, inhale. Inhale. Three more, everybody. Inhale. Relax the shoulders. Back up straight. Inhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. And open your eyes. I see so many animals. Aaron, you can come here if you want. Wash your hands. Okay. Now, the next breath, next breathing, second level. Every time you start meditation, you want to start 10 deep breaths with your chest. Now comes whole stomach. This is where I'm going to encourage you, most of you, to practice. 
It's as you inhale, everything through your nose, as you inhale, you push out your lower stomach. As you exhale, your lower stomach will retract in and you breathe out. It will feel like backwards breathing in the beginning. I spent a lot of time just focusing on this breath, okay? So I'm gonna show you again from here. As I inhale, you can see, actually I'll come up closer. So as I inhale, my stomach goes out. As I exhale, it goes all the way in. Inhale and exhale. Again, when you go to the doctor's office, they say take a deep breath. They want you to fill your lungs up, right? But this is the difference. We're working from our diaphragm. So we're going to inhale, push out our lower stomach, and exhale. We're going to do this one for about five minutes. Five minutes. Um, when you do this, this type of meditation, you're, every time you inhale and exhale, you're going to count that breath. So as I inhale one and exhale, that's a count of one. Inhale and exhale is a count of two. You're gonna go up as high as you can in that five minutes, but not it's not a race, right? So you want a deep breath, push out your lower stomach, isolate the breathing, and bring it back in. You're gonna have other thoughts that are gonna come in. When those thoughts come in, just don't pay them any mind. Let them come roll in and let them roll out. Let them roll in, let them roll out. The most important thing right now is that you just focus on your breathing because remember, your, your breath is going to move your energy. The relaxing the body is going to allow that energy to flow. So you want to count your breaths and then relax. If you lose count, don't get stressed over it. Just go back to one, okay? It's no big deal. This is supposed to be relaxing. Does everybody understand? We're good? So put your back up straight. Put your center forward, right? Left hand down, right one on top, left thumb in. Right hand, thumb is gently touching. Back up straight. Relax the muscles in your face. Relax your neck. Relax your shoulders. Really from here down, like there's just a shroud coming down. Complete relaxation. And we're going to start focusing on your breathing. Eyes closed. Inhale and exhale for five minutes. Ready? And begin. Whole stomach goes out as you inhale and the stomach comes in. Maximize the range of breath. So that inhale, it comes all the way in. As it goes all the way out, the exhale, all the way in as deep as it can go. Utilizing your breath, relaxing your body.
Everybody keep your back straight, push your center forward, relax the shoulders, keep counting your breath. Okay, everybody open your eyes and let's, I did a mute everybody while we did it. Now bring your legs out. Good. Shake out your legs a little bit. Anybody feet fall asleep? And twist to one side. Twist to the other side. Bring your arms up and stretch them forward and just bring your hands just like an inch away from your feet. This will help bring a little bit of light back to your feet. And rest. How did we feel? Good? Thumbs up. Thumbs up if we're good. Okay. All right. Now the third breath. So that was we went chest and chest breaths. We did five minutes of stomach. Did you feel the breathing? Inhale and exhale. That's key, right? The last one, just going to do for a couple of minutes so we can get into stretching. Um, this is going to be, I'm going to have you all lie down. So lie down flat on your backs. You do not need a pillow. This is not nap time. You're going to place your hand one inch this belly button, below your belly button. You're not going to move your chest. You're not going to move your stomach. You're going to isolate only the breath. Use the breath to push your hand up off your stomach, but without moving your chest and your stomach. Right? Lower is below your belly button. You inhale and exhale. The range of motion is going to be a lot less, only about an inch, but you still use your breath to go all the way down and push it up. We're going to do that. Eyes are going to go back into counting your breaths, doing it just for about three minutes. Okay? This is a kind of a test. And begin. Hands, one hand an inch below your belly button, and push that breath up and down, isolating the lowest part of your stomach, right above your pelvis. Inhale and exhale. Relax the rest of your body.
And now a deep breath with your whole stomach. And everybody come back up. All right, how did we make out everybody? Good, so one of the key things about this breathing though is again, you know, why do a lot of people get headaches? Lack of water, lack of oxygen. This is making sure you're oxygenating your system, right? So another health benefit, but most importantly, calming down your mind, um, you know, slowing down your brain waves. You're able to look at situations and circumstances at a third person um, perspective, which also helps a lot. All right, now we're gonna go into some stretching. Sounds good? Sure. Okay. Let's everybody please stand up. I'm gonna put my head back in the screen. Okay. So we're gonna first hone in, hone in on our upper body, right? And then we're gonna go down to our lower body. We're gonna, um, so Grandmaster Kim, shared with us, he says, the most important part of our body to stretch is our neck, right? To make sure that our neck is stretched. Why is it the most important? Because that's the connection between our mind and our rest of the body. So if our neck is uh, tense or we have pressure here, it squeezes and then there becomes lack of connection. So we're gonna do 12 different stretches of our neck, working down shoulders, arms, hands, Hips, spend a lot of time on our hips, then we'll go down to the legs, all right? Then we'll do some energy exercises with a bonus at the end. So first thing, neck. We're gonna go everything for an eight count, all right? When you work with the neck, don't go hard. We have to kind of ease into it, slow motions, ready? So first thing is head forward, tilt down, and hold. When I count, I count in Korean. Ana, dul, set, net, dasit, yosit, yogap, yodu, and gently bring it back center to the back. Chin all the way up, head back. Ana, dul, set, net, dasit, yosit, yogap, yodu, bring it back center. You're gonna turn to your right and just look. Ana. Dual set, net, gossip, yo sit, il gup, yo dual, center, and opposite direction, hana, dual set, net, gossip, yo sit, il gup, yo dual, back center. And now we're gonna go back to the left. Now, actually, you should look at me first because you won't know what to do. So you're gonna look. Go down, look to your shoulder, or that side of your body, and then you're gonna look across your body and turn, rotate across, ready? So now, look, look down to your shoulder, hands, and now look across your chest, and hold. Hana, dual, set, net, das it, yo sit, il gap, yo dual, and bring it back up. Now you're gonna look, Go down to your shoulder and look across your chest. Hana, dual. You'll feel in the back outside corner of your neck. Set, net, dasit, yosit, ilgup, yodul. And bring it back, reverse it back to the position. That right there was like six different stretches. Now, we're gonna tilt. So now we're getting outside here. Hana, dual, set, net, Das it. Yo sit. Il gup. Yo dual. And back the other way till. Hana. Dual. Set. Net. Das it. Yo sit. Il gup. Yo dual. And now back. Now we're going to tilt again, but the same thing. Look down and across your body. So tilt. Look down. And then look across your body. Hana. Dual. Set. Net. Das it. Yo sit, yo gup, yo dual, and back up. And you're gonna tilt, look down. This is actually one of my favorite of the neck stretches, and across. 
Hana dual set. Net das it. Yo sit il go. Yo dual and back. Good. That was 10 different stretches right there. Now we're gonna bring our chin, our head all the way forward, like a turtle, right? Bring your head all the way forward. So you're here, all the way forward. And now bring your chin down. Hana. Dual set. Net. That's it. Yo set. Yo up. And yo do. And come back up. Now the last stretch is going to be shoulders up. You're going to squeeze your neck. So you're going to bring them up really, really tight. And then drop. And we're going to do that eight times. Ready? And up. And drop. That's how. Up, drop, up, drop, up, drop, four more, up, drop, up, drop, two more, up, drop, one more, up, and drop. Very good, very good. Now roll your shoulder. That was all 12 neck exercises. Roll your shoulder forward. One, two, three, four, five, and backwards. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Bring your arm across and turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, relax. Other arm across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll go back to Korean now. Go up, arm up, bend your arm, grab the elbow and lean. Hana, dual, set, net. Das it. Yo sit yoga. Yo do. And bring the elbow up. And bring it across and lean. Hana. Do set. Net. Das it. Yo sit yoga. And yo do. And back. Good. Now bring your palm down. This is going to be the wrist, right? Bring your palm down. Bring your thumb on top. Grab the pinky side of your hand and twist your palm to me. Hana. Dual set. Net. Das it. Yo sit. Il gap. Yo dual. Turn your hand, the palm up. Bring your thumb underneath. Grab your thumb and pull down. Hana. Dual. For those who do not know, this is a great wrist manipulation for self-defense and if somebody ever grabs you you get them in this position and you're going to make them get off you okay and back shake it out other hand thumb down a uh, th thumb on the top grab your pinky side and palm to you one two three four five six seven eight Bring the palm up, thumb underneath, grab your own thumb and turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then shake it out. Now, one of the things that Grandmaster Kim has taught me over the years is that you want to stretch every single joint in your, muscle, in your body, every single joint. And there's so many more than we could possibly imagine. But he spends the time to massage each, and he's retired too, has the time, uh, to massage each and every joint in his fingers, right? In his toes, right? So take the time to do that. We're not going to do it now, but really think about mobility. And again, the more you have flexible you are, the more mobility you have, the more your internal energy can flow more freely and effortlessly, okay? All right, now we're going to go into some hip exercises. So from this position, so far, we did meditation. Oh, you lost my head. 
So far, we did meditation, focusing on breathing. Um, we did a little bit of flexibility training from up here, right? Now we're going to start utilizing the hips. But this is where the, the, um, this training is called Il Il Shin. Il Il Shin means be better every day. How do we become better? By number one is practicing meditation. Number two, flexibility training. And number three, appreciation and gratitude. So the training here has a double meaning. We work for the breathing, we work for the flexibility, but then we also have a me connect a meaning to what we are doing, all right? So we're gonna start with our feet and shoulders, uh, feet about the shoulders width apart. Your hands are gonna come in this position. You're going to just, to, for now, just open up your hands and spread them out. Bring them back and go up and spread wide as you can. So you can feel it in the back of your shoulders. Bring it back and go down. Bring it back and come up. What does this represent? This is showing gratitude for the earth and everything the earth provides for us. This is showing gratitude for everything that's unearthly, right? And the heavens and everything out in the universe, right? Now we add a stretching element. So we're gonna go down as far as you can and hands out, bring it back as high as you can and bring it back and bring it down and bring it back. And every time, okay, we can stop for one second, you're reflecting, you're thinking, thank you for the earth, the, the earth and all the things I have in my life. Thank you for the universe, God, whatever you believe in. Now, when you do this, we have to put breathing into it. When we go down, we inhale, out, pushing out your lower stomach, and when we go up, we exhale. Okay? We're going to do that nine times. Ready? And begin. <laughs> Reflect. Thank you. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Put your head back if you can. Go as far down as you can. Inhale. And back as far as you can. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. Three more, everybody. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And relax. Very good. How is that, everybody? Okay? Good. Okay, I like the thumbs up. Thumbs up are good. Next exercise. This is going to be a key energy exercise. Again, what is it? Relaxation is key. Breathing is key. Right? Relaxation, breathing, and meaning. What is the meaning of this? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your three fingers, interlock them together. You're going to have this finger pointed. Your thumbs are, are locked in. This is called your key extension. This allows the energy to flow. Where you tighten up, the energy stops. When we punch, we choose to stop our energy at the point of impact. Here, we want our energy to continue to flow through. Connection, mind and through. Now, the exercise is going to be a circular motion, five times one direction, five times the other. But you have to watch, right? So when I'm here, I'm going to show you, just watch first for the first one. I'm going to look at my finger. If you don't look at your finger, you're going to get dizzy. 
So I look at my finger and I rotate my upper body, my torso to the side of my leg. I go straight down to my leg. When I get as far as I can, I rotate forward to my opposite side. I come back and my, I go way back with my hips. So this is all about hips and hamstrings, right? And then I go down. When I go down, I inhale. When I come up, I exhale. So if you see from the side view, right? I come forward, I go straight down in the direction of the camera. I go across, I go up, and then I go back and around. So it's kind of like a glorified hip rotation, but much cooler, okay? Now, what are the three things? What does this mean? This means is gratitude for everything in your world. Circular motion representing your world. And reflect on things that you are grateful for all right, in your life right now. And especially now with what's going on, we have to reflect on these things more than ever, okay? So feet about as shoulders width apart. Inhale down, exhale up. We're going to go five times. Ready? Look at your finger and relax. Inhale, slow, deep inhale. And exhale. Get into a rhythm with your breath. Inhale, this is not fast. And exhale, and each time go a little bit deeper. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now we go the opposite way. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Number three. Four. And inhale. And exhale. One more half rotation, all the way down. Let the weight of your head and upper body put the pressure down. Slowly come up one vertebrae at a time. Interlock your fingers, inhale, push your head way back behind. Stretch, reach up. And bring it around and exhale. Good. How are we feeling, everybody? Good? The thumbs up, I guess, is good? Okay. We're going to take it down to the ground now. Okay. This is just a very, very traditional stretching that we like to do in the martial arts uh, in Taekwondo. And um, it's really good for our hip to loosen up our hips. So right now, bring your uh, leg in. We're going to go down. And for a two count, we're going to twist to one side, down, and twist to the other side. There's about six different stretches here. Ready? And down. Hana. Do. Now twist. Bring your hand on your knee. Turn. Set. Net. Dante. Yosit. Other way, you got you do and hana do set net good that's it you sit you got and you do now bring your foot over and now we're gonna rotate our ankles forward hana 
And as you're doing it, you're bending your foot up and down, the ball of your foot. So getting, utilize all these joints. Actually, I don't care what you do, just, just bend everything in your foot right now. And let's go the other way. Good. Good. Now, grab your foot, push your knee down, one, and hold. Hold that knee down. Push. You should feel a nice stretch in that outer hip. Now, bring your leg up, bring your foot up, and bring it in, and turn it to the outside, right here. And hold, bring your knee up, lean forward and place your foot on your knee. Try to hug your leg. And reach forward while your leg is still on there as far as you can. And bring the leg up, bring the arm across, and twist your body. And now, leg straight, and we go to the other side. This is definitely one of some of my favorite stretches. And down, and now, do, turn, set, net, good, that's it. You sit, you go, you do, and down, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, good, bring the leg over, ankle rotations, and really work your foot, work it, mine's cracking like crazy, I don't know if you could hear it over the camera. And let's go the other way. Good. Now push your knee down. One, hold. Again, feeling it on the inside of your hip. Bring the leg up, cradle your leg, and bring it across your body. And now you feel it really at the outside of your hip. As we get older, our hips tighten up, right? So we have to really continue to increase the mobility in these hips. Bring your knee up, lean forward. And bring it forward and stretch. And bring it back up. Bottoms of our, oh, no, I forgot one. Over and twist. It's so quiet. I wish we weren't on mute. I could talk to you guys more. And good. Now bring your palms or our feet together. Push your knees down. How's everybody feeling? Good. Can I get some thumbs up? Is everybody happy? Big smile. <laughs> Lean forward. And if anybody has any questions, raise your hand, unmute, I'll be happy to answer. Now, um, we're going to do one, oh, I have a chat, hold on a second. Bye, <laughs> whoever said goodbye, okay. Oh, that was my sister, she said goodbye in a chat. 
Okay. Now, from here, um, we're going to do two more things. Uh, and then we'll get everybody on your way on time. Uh, because I'm sure you have a lot of big commute to get to work. Uh, so, everybody, let's please stand up. This exercise, uh, you're going to just follow along. Uh, this is a yoga practice. Uh, they call it, I think some people call it morning salutation. I don't know if everybody, anybody has ever done it before. Um, there's always a little different twist when I do it with my grandmaster, so I'm going to share with you what we do. Uh, but follow along. I'm not going to teach it as much as you guys just following along, and then we'll go deeper into this at a later time uh, on Thursday, perhaps. So, but it's pretty easy to, to follow. So bring your hands in. We have a very coordinated group with us today. We're going to reach back, open up our hands like we did earlier. Inhale. And exhale. Bring it back. Now you're going to bring your feet together and you're going to go down and try to fold your body as down as far as you possibly can. You can lay your hands flat, fingers, fists, step back with one leg. So I'll go on an angle so you can see. Now you're going to look up as far as you can. You're going to take your other leg back. I guess they call this that downward dog motion. So you can go flat on your hands. You can go knuckles, I go fingertips, and look down. We're going to go to the cobra stretch, go down, and push up. Arch your back, reach up. Nice. Look up. Reverse the motion, and push up back. Take the opposite leg up. Push your hip down and forward. Looking up. Bring your knee down and back. Bring your feet together. Fold in half again. Slowly come up, bring your hands back, inhale, and straight down. That was one side. Now we go to the other side. Ready? So we go back. And down. Take your opposite leg back first. Look up. Other leg back. Put your heels down. Again, you can go hands, fingertips, whatever you want. Fist, go down. Now look at my motion if you can. Down and up. Reverse the motion back and up. Take the opposite leg up. Push your hip down, look up. Bring it back down. Try to bring your elbows down to the ground. Come up, feet together, down. Slow.
slowly come up. Up. And back. Whoa. How does everybody feel with that? Stretched, relaxed? Good? Okay. So now I want everybody off mute. If we can. Or I can unmute you, I think. All right, good, good, good. Oh, it's so much better. Like when it's, it's so quiet when we're not on mute. <laughs> when we're on mute. All right. There's one more exercise that we're going to do. This exercise um, is what uh, Grandmaster Kim, again, I'm going to refer to him, said is the most important exercise you can ever do. He calls it vein exercises. So we did breathing, we did relaxation, we did meditation, uh, we did a lot of flexibility, external flexibility training, but the vein exercises, like he was passionately explaining to, to me that this is the number one most important exercise because it, it empowers your veins and circulation throughout your whole body, right? So you ever see a weightlifter who's lifting something really hard and then their veins are popping out of their neck? Yeah, that's pretty much what we have to do. So let me explain it. We're just going to do one exercise. He showed me 10 of them, but we're just going to do one for now. So you're going to go about the shoulders width position and you're going to bend your knees. This is called... We call this horse stance position. Why? Because if there's a horse, right? You go, we're just gonna do one today. We're gonna bring our hands here across in our body. For about six seconds, you're going to bring your hands out and you're going to inhale and tighten up every muscle in your body as hard as you possibly can to the point where you're going to pass out. And then when you get to that point, <laughs> this is great, isn't it? <laughs> great way to start the Tuesday. Oh, somebody just left. Uh, you're gonna go in, <laughs> push out hard as you can, like you're pushing something out. Then we're gonna turn our hands in, pull it in as hard as you can. And then we're gonna relax, okay? That's the exercise. We're just gonna do it three times, right? So bring your hands in. So you're gonna inhale while you push out, hold, bring it in, and then relax and exhale. Ready? Inhale, push, push every part of your body tight, 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 tight. Hold, hold, turn your hands, squeeze your fingers in, and bring it tight inside. Tight, 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 tight. And relax. Who think who we don't need to lift weights? Right? Two more times. Okay? Ready? So so watch the motion. You're gonna push. Then I gotta turn my hands, squeeze my hands, and I'm gonna pull back in and tighten up like a ball. Ready? Go. Ready? And go. Tight, tight. Every muscle in your body, tight, tight, tight. Turn your hands, squeeze your fingers, pull it in, in, tighter. <laughs> Holy cow, right? Uh, one more, ready? And... Go. And relax. Anybody tired? <laughs> so we did a 45 second exercise and we got exhausted. So I want to thank everybody for joining me. Anybody have any questions? Alright, thank you.
the most important thing with this is consistency. Consistency, flexibility. The more, Ryan, <laughs> the more flexible, the more consistent you are, then the more flexible you're going to become, the better you're going to feel. It's the inconsistency that challenge you. I made a decision a little while ago to do this particular stretch every day. Within six months, it was effortless and it was smooth and I increased my flexibility tremendously because I did a little bit daily and not a lot one time. You understand? That's the key. So if you take one thing that we did and you make a commitment, all right, I'm going to do this one thing every day. For me, it was that morning salutation, right? So now where I was down to here, I can fold in half, which I couldn't do before I did it consistently, right? And I know everybody likes strength training. It's fun. It's strong, right? It makes you feel good. But it's the flexibility that's going to give you the mobility and longevity. So do one thing, choose one thing to focus on, whether it be the floor stretching, whether it be the next, whatever it is, shoulders, and then work to increase that. Then that gets really solid. It becomes part of your routine. Then add something else. Then you add something else, right? Because I imagine we have time. You can't say you don't have time because you're not commuting, right? We have some time, okay? Anybody have any questions? All right. Thank you for joining. We'll tune in on Thursday. We'll do a little bit more stretching on Thursday. All right. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Thank you. Master Berlo, can I ask a question? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Um, yesterday, um, I was taking one of the Taekwondo classes, and uh, Master Glab gave a tip, but with the mirror image, I got confused. So I just want to... I was thinking about it. I just want to ask you from perspective of right hand, left hand. Yes. Okay. On the green belt, when you go here and then here and then you punch, she said yes. to kind of set your arms. Is it? This is my right. Am I doing? Am I doing this correct? I put the punch. Right. Yes. That punch would be a right hand. Right, and then she said to set like this before you do. Um, Set uh, open hand underneath. I think she had it up like this. Yeah, different approach. I, I like to do it from underneath because then I have my full motion. Yeah, just like that. From here, right? The and then you come up. So the left hand, the punch is here. The left hand comes underneath. The right hand's relaxed. Right. And then I come around and boom. Yes. This is now my left is up. And then, yes, yes, yes. and then when I set it again, this is my left hand. Right, so then the right goes underneath. And then you come back. Wait, wait, a, second, wait a second. This is this is my right. Yep. And this now my left is up. And then I okay. now my right is up. Right. Now slide backwards. But now I put my left at my stomach. No, put your right at your stomach. Oh, you want the and then put it in the Because the right's gonna block. Right? And now you go left. So always the blocking it, right? So everything goes from one side to the next, to the next, to the next. It's not the same time. So if I finish my strike with my right, I'm going to block with my left, my right. My right, my left, right? Except for when you change direction. Okay. okay so it's always going to be the opposite. I so know. one, left, right. When you turn... Because it's the opposite side, it will be right, left. Okay, it will always be, uh, except for the turns, it will always be the opposite technique. If you have multiple techniques in a row, it's going to be what right, left, right, left. Okay. Is that helpful? Yes, it's just with the mirror image. I'm trying to go right, left, and look at their right, left, and I... I have to make sure I can remember how to do the forms the right way because I'm just teaching mirror image. So, <laughs> wish me luck. All right. Have a great day. Bye. 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 Yeah.